Hey everyone, welcome to Living It Country. I'm Holly and today we get to visit another beautiful farmhouse styled home today and I'm so excited. We get to visit my friend Beth from Crowley House on Instagram and we get to go tour her beautiful farmhouse styled home full of antiques, full of treasures, and full of beauty. You guys are gonna get so much inspiration from her and I'm just so excited to have her here today sharing her beautiful home to get you guys inspiration and new ideas for your home. I have Beth's Instagram account in the links down below so you guys can go give her a follow and show her some love. And I also have some small businesses down there as well too. So right now is a great time to support these small businesses. And so I'm sharing a few candles, a few inspirational shirts, and I would love if you support those small businesses too. So let's go ahead and welcome Beth to her beautiful farmhouse today and let's go ahead and get started. My name is Beth and this is my 1870s Gothic farmhouse that has been moved about five miles down the road. Fully restored. I hope you enjoy a quick tour of my humble home. So I live here with my kids and I have two kids, a daughter and a son and my husband who farms alongside me and then has another job off site. We love this place of paradise, or what I call paradise, and I'm gonna take you along in the gardens and in my sweet little house. The front door I usually keep pretty simple. Just a couple wine barrels, one here for watering. Just dip a little can in, and then able to water. That just comes off the little gutter above. It's very functional, I love it. Anyways, we, um, I just usually, my kids get me a fuchsia to hang every year. The color changes. They did a good job this year. It's usually for Mother's Day. And then we have um, just, you know, this gets a lot of shade, so a lot of shade loving stuff. The ferns, the hostas, those stay year round, or at least the ferns do. And then I just change out the color spots just to welcome folks in. But come on inside and I'll show you around. It's a warm day um, already, so I think I'm just gonna leave the door open. In this old house, uh, when they went to restore it, all of the doors and the windows had been taken. So they had to redo everything and purchase new, but they found doors from the air from the 1870s that would fit well with the look of the house. And I think they did a fantastic job. I usually always have a little pop of flowers just to welcome folks as they come in the door. I keep this year round, whether it's just evergreens or um, simple little spring blooms like today or summertime just large arrangements that kind of stop people in their tracks it's just kind of a fun little thing that I like to do um, so when I decorate I tend to like a lot of color but also kind of a classic feel to it everything that I get is little treasures that I've found here and there bits and pieces that remind me of folks um, this or treasures that I have gathered from people that have given to me um, special people so this was in my mother's or my grandmother's uh, little like den and as a kid I just loved it it sat above this beautiful antique probably in 19 um, probably 1940s bookshelf and I just fell in love with it so I did like a little trio here um, the one at the top was also found at a little vintage um, barn sale and then this again a little thrift store and I just like the two balancing colors the top and bottom and it just made for a nice little trio so back to the windows these windows are made 
to look old, but they are new and they are handcrafted. Oh, they're a little dirty right now, but you can still see through them. So it classifies as okay, right? <laughs> um, and then I just kind of change things up. I'm always changing things. This is my grandma's light um, from a long time ago. I'm looking for a new shade. I've been looking for a new shade for some time. Still haven't found one, the perfect one. Again, just little treasures I found here and there. Things that remind me of the farm, farm life. And again, this couch I have had forever, ever and ever. And it won't wear out because the fabric is amazing. But when it does, I'm not sure what I'm going to get yet. But isn't that the fun of decorating? <laughs> oh, styles change, things change. So coming around, we've got, this is our only source of heat that we have in the house. Um, the cutest little stove. And it puts off some good heat. I do enjoy that. It's got the little squirrel on the side. I think that just characterizes a little bit of what this house is, what this farm is even though I try and keep the squirrels off and out of the flower beds. But it is, it is a joy. Um, a lot of times we'll just start a small crackling fire um, in the winter and it just, uh, there's something about wood burning. I don't know what you guys think, but it just is so, so nice and comforting. These are some little weights that I found as well just hung them up didn't know what I was gonna do with them you know every once in a while you'll just change things up another little picture I found at a thrift store this is one of my favorite little corners right now I don't know if you have that happen to you as well, but you'll find these corners that just kind of are fun to decorate. I find it in gardening as well. A little plot here and there that for that year is kind of fun and you love it. And then you start to get tired of it. So then you have to change a few things and that's the fun of decorating. So this chair was given to us um, I found this little cabinet. It holds um, just a few liqueurs and things like that in it. I've often thought about painting that little cabinet. This little ladder I found down the road at a cherry farm. They were getting rid of it. So I bought that plus a lot of other little ladders that over the years have had their place on the farm we use them or I hang them and hang dried flowers on them that kind of thing this lamp oh it has a story I don't love it but it was a gift from somebody that just dropped it at the farmers market and it sits here and I haven't quite found a replacement but soon I will this was another piece given to me by a friend. And then I just tucked a little bit of copper underneath. I'm a big fan of copper. I have been for my whole life. A little reminder above. And I'm going to take you into the office. Now this used to be just a room where everything would fall and clutter. But recently... I've needed a place to have brides out or have meetings about different events and that kind of thing. And I just wanted a place that I wanted to feel comfortable coming into. So I found this old desk at an estate sale. It's a little bit big, but I love it. it kind of reminds me of the old schoolmaster's desk that was in, in the elementary I went to. Uh, these photos are, these pictures were given to me and for now they'll do and I think they look pretty cool 
the lamp again. Somebody thought that reminded them of me, so I got the lamp. I don't always keep all my treasures people give me, but a lot of times people know me pretty well. Okay, so this is another room. This is the dining room, which is kind of fun. I found this little light. Um, my, my son and I drove probably two hours to get it, but I fell in love with it and I felt like it just added so much to this space. So I've had this clock for some time and it's one of the most special parts of this room. I think it kind of sets the tone. So right now um, my son is being homeschooled and so we have a little science project um, this room has been turned into. So here is his science project with all my lamps from around the house. <laughs> but that's what I love. I don't mind at all. I think it just adds a little bit of character and ambiance. Um, and it's kind of fun for him just to be able to be free and have his things out. And we all enjoy it. So both my husband and my son played baseball. So I found these old um, little, I guess they're like where they keep score and that kind of thing. And so instead of just having a plain piano, I, I put these little markers here and I just love it. People ask me all the time what they are. Um, they've never seen them, but that's what I love is being able to explain what it is. So because we're on a flower farm, we tend to have flowers everywhere. Even though I am a farmer, I tend to kill my houseplants. So my daughter helps me out with that sometimes. She reminds me to water. It's kind of like wind the clock, water the plants. And that's how it works. But sometimes I get to wind the clock and forget to water the plants or don't have time. These two windows were given to me by our neighbor. He had them in his barn and he, he thought I might like them. I think they're gonna go in my new little greenhouse we're building. We, we took down a vintage greenhouse that's gonna go um, for my personal tropical plants um, in the winter and we just are gonna build that. So I'll have to find some other pieces to go here, but I just love these Tudor looking windows. They're very rare. So this is just a little collection of pieces done by local artists um, in my community. Love that little setting. I'm gonna still work on it. It'll probably keep going up and down just a tad. So I'm going to, I love the creaky floor, right? <laughs> no one can get away with anything in my house. I always hear them and know exactly what they're doing. So here, just because I do farm, this is an old cedar um, that you'd put your starts or seeds and that kind of thing in this little truck deep things. And then it like seeds it out. Um, and then this is an old sprayer that I found that I liked. And because we don't have a lot of storage, I use pieces like this little dresser um, that was hand painted by someone here locally to um, just kind of add, you know, I can put like linens in here and that kind of thing. And for now that's, that's working. As you can tell, I do like blue. So I'm gonna take you into the kitchen. These floors are brand new. This house faced, I guess it would be, um, well, this end would have faced south, so it got a lot of the weather. So I think some of the, even though the ceiling is original, the floor I think took a little bit of a beating. So this is hand milled. Don't look too close, I haven't washed it yet. Um, hand milled, um, hand cut just up the road. There's literally like two miles down the road, a forest, um, they manage a forest and then they do white oak Oregon white oak. It's very rare, but they do these beautiful wood floors. So they put that in here. So because we have no air conditioning, we have no circulating air. It's all about opening up the doors. 
And so I started collecting just little vintage fans. Um, sometimes you have to turn it on if you burn something, that kind of thing. One of my favorite views in the morning is out this window here. Right now we've got the wisterias just covering the house. So normally I can look out and see cows um, in the field and then out to the mountain range, which is really kind of fun. We live in wine country, so most all the windows have some sort of view of a winery or wine graves, which is fantastic. So this one looks out over, right now we're gonna have some David Austin roses blooming right there. And um, this is just our little kitchen area that I um, put together. Little bench I found, some chairs. And then that stores all my coffee, <laughs> coffee cups, which none match. They're not matching. They're just, you know, I want somebody to go in, find something that they love, and call it their own cup for the day. Um, that, and it's funny, people's personalities come out in that night. That's kind of fun. So we just did a little project this year where I painted the kitchen. So I wanted lots of different colors. Um, this is from Magnolia Home. Uh, love those guys. But this is, um, this is just a deep, deep blue here. I thought it just accented that copper really nicely. And then we just did this vintage green on the bottom looking and then on the top is just white so one of the fun features about this kitchen is this stove and um, it does yes have a stove pipe that goes up so this one half here we can start a fire in if I wanted to I've never done it because I'm a little chicken about it but this could heat the kitchen if I wanted um, but the stove is so fun um, it's it just I just love it it's um, fun to use and it cooks well bakes well for the most part and then we just have butcher block countertops in here you know, eventually, you know, we all have dreams. We all have more treasures to find. We all want to change things. But um, eventually, I'll put in like a really nice refrigerator and, you know, maybe a built in little dishwasher, um, that kind of thing to make it a little bit more authentic, I guess, or just a little older looking. Um, this is what I have right now, and I'm thankful. So, so I'm going to take you upstairs really quick. What I love about these old stairs is they have over a hundred years worth of wornness to them. What I hate about them is falling. I mean, they are as steep as steep can come, but they're beautiful. So you're careful, you hang on as you go. So this is another fun part of the house that everybody loves. It's that Gothic door that is a replica of what was originally here. I just keep my kids school art here, things that I love, treasure. A friend of mine did these two little pieces and I just added them in. <laughs> kids thumbprints. It's just fun, lots of color. So out here, what I've done is it does have a screen on it, so in the summertime when it's really, really hot, um, we can just open up this door, close the screen, and there's just this beautiful breeze that comes through. But this, I just got a little flower box, which will be spilling out here shortly. And then from up here, you've got beautiful views all the way around. And I just normally will tuck a little chair right here so I can have coffee and read in the morning when I have time. I haven't done it yet, it's still mid-spring. But this goes, overlooks my studio and then out into the second garden um, of the house. We've got our little rabbits down there right now in the garden. Another fun feature of our house is that these windows that were all handmade um, sash open very old-fashioned like this window looks to the south over the kitchen 
And that's our new pergola that is gonna house our outdoor eating area. I think, you know, one of my big things is that um, I love bringing the outdoors in and the indoors out. So I have a lot of um, little spaces to have, you know, a glass of wine, some cheese, you know, when people come over, you can just create these little vignettes inside the house and outside the house. But I love these views that just look over the gardens. Um, so this is kind of one of our guest bedrooms that just looks out. I mean, it's early spring, so they're not fully blooming. The mountain range is there, the coast range, and it's very, very just fresh and refreshing. These are little shutters that I found as well at a vintage, um, or somebody was just giving me away. So a lot of times I do that. I'm like, sure, I'll take that and I'll figure out something to do with it. But that just helps um, in the summertime when it gets really, really hot. Um, but thankfully here in Oregon, we just have um, very mild weather. So here in the kitchen, we have a little screen. That, it's a beautiful day, so I have it open right now. And uh, just goes off to our porch that then leads you into the garden. And like I said, a few little sitting spots. So we have this one that overlooks the cow field. And that's um, a winery up on top there on the hill. So in the fall, it looks beautiful with the foliage. Here I just have my little sitting area. Um, I'm a big fan of gathering people and just making a cozy home. Another little sitting area. And then, of course, my clutter, the boots. So I love decorating with things that I've just found or people have given me things that reminds me of them. And so just like that little watering can was given to me and just hung it there for now. Sometimes I switch it up a little bit, put um, some different things. Sometimes that little basket gets filled with gloves, our little boots line, and I just leave it that way. I mean, it's just life. It's just what we do here on the farm. It's very natural for us and I don't have a stuffy home. This is the back of our house. Um, here, you can see, we're gonna put in a little breakfast area. <laughs> it's a little overrun right now, but in time, I thought we would put just a little bit of flagstone down, um, a nice little table, and that rose bush that's just starting to bloom is going to come and just crest over the top and also the wisteria that's in there and also there's some grape and there's a lot going on here there's like two rose bushes here that climb up um i'm just a little behind on getting it trellised but it's going to come up over the top down here there's some lemon balm um and a few other plants that i'm going to pull out of here and then put a little sitting area with um, a table and chairs and then that is just going to be all flowers we've got dahlias and um, there's gladiolas roses way out there and then you can just see the cows and it just kind of goes on to the coast range right there it's going to be beautiful when it's done I'm excited so in the spring from the kitchen, you look out over the narcissus or the daffodils and we've got several varieties here. And then we go into the lilacs, which are just starting to bloom here. This is a late variety. We've got our first varieties that are done. And then this is some David Austin roses and some peonies. And the cat is playing with the ducks. At the end of the day, I have to look at my humble home, the rambling country, American, Gothic farmhouse, and be thankful for the simplistic 
beautiful life it has offered me and my family. I hope you enjoyed our little tour today and have a beautiful rest of your day.